Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you a few YouTube channel ideas that are great if you're lazy and you don't want a complicated setup, you don't want to invest a whole lot in equipment, or maybe you just don't want to constantly have to work long hours editing and stuff like that. So one thing you can do is a Reddit channel. A Reddit channel is kind of like a compilation channel in a way because a lot of times you're usually going to focus on a group of posts in a certain category but sometimes you don't have to do it that way but what you can do is look at a couple different channels that can give you some inspiration one of them is MK or MK whatever you want to pronounce that as but they have almost 2 million subscribers if you look at their videos here you notice that they use a lot of different subreddits so they use technically the truth, me in real life, made me smile, and things like that. So they will have usually some sort of topic or some sort of, you know, compilation of the best posts of the week or best posts of the month for a certain subreddit that's pretty popular, that has lots of submissions, and then they will add some kind of humorous commentary over them. But you don't have, you don't see the person talking on camera. They don't really do that much fancy editing because most of their video is full of just like memes and pictures from Reddit and comments from Reddit. So it's pretty simple. It's something you could do, you know, you could do like one of these a week and get a few hundred thousand views. These people do a lot more than that, of course. They do like one a day because it's such a simple type of video that you can do one a day. And then you also have something like Sir Reddit. Sir Reddit is a little bit different they also use the kind of the reddit method where they basically pick a subreddit and get some kind of stories or top comments that's another thing you can do top posts or you can do top comments and you can kind of go based on a topic maybe a post topic or you can go based on just the best of a subreddit so what they do on Sir Reddit is they pretty much do one story and then the top comments and they don't even read it They don't even have a human reading it They literally use a computer generated voice to read what's in there So they could literally copy and paste the top comments that they like and just have a computer read it Maybe do like a few minutes of editing and then they have a video So that's another pretty lazy and pretty easy way to make money off of Reddit is just doing what Sir Reddit does. So you can literally just go to Ask Reddit or you can go to Ask Me Anything, you can go to Me In Real Life, you can do go to all sorts of Reddit uh, posts and figure out a niche that you could kind of make yourself different than MK and Sir Reddit and kind of you know create a nice channel from that. Another pretty easy thing you could do that's, that's also kind of a lazy thing to do but works is gaming clips you can actually record clips after you do something on a game this is not live streaming I'm not talking about streaming in this I contemplated whether I should include streaming video games on here because in a way you could make the case that it's pretty easy you just play video games you can do a let's play channel you can uh, talk to the people in the chat but there is quite a bit of equipment and setup involved with that kind of stuff sometimes. And most of the time people won't really watch you unless you're pretty good or unless you're just a really funny or easy person to talk to. So they, what you can do instead is try to rank your clips or to just have a really entertaining channel by sharing crazy things that happen to you when you play video games. So for instance, Xbox One, you can, you can, go through a tutorial it'll tell you how to record your clips it's like you know you press the Xbox button and then you go to a couple of options and then you can record a clip usually like 15 seconds to five minutes long that happens after you already did it so there are a few different ways you could categorize this now of course you can do this type of thing with PlayStation you can do this with your PC you can do this with whatever console you're using it doesn't have to be Xbox but you record clips after you do something significant now you could do a boss fight channel where you just upload clips of yourself fighting bosses when you defeat them and uh, you could do something like boss fight database now they probably don't do it this specific way but you can do compilations of bosses you can do like a crazy way you beat a boss and then if it's five minutes or less you won't even probably have to edit it you can just upload it directly to YouTube and that'll be the theme of your channel is boss fights 
Now you can also do other things as well. You can do like crazy uh, fights that you had online with people like Mortal Kombat or something. Or you could try to do the hardest thing in the game and record that. These, this works really well with short clips like a Mortal Kombat fight is usually less than five minutes. A boss fight a lot of times is less than five minutes. You could do a crazy clip of how you uh, pulled out a last minute victory on you know, something like Fortnite. You could do a crazy kill you got on Call of Duty. You could do all that kind of stuff and just record it after it happens and then upload it directly. And that's a very easy thing to do. Another thing is like a white noise channel. Now, you know, you could go a lot of different directions with this style, but what you're doing is basically taking noises from nature. Maybe you find these yourself or maybe you got these from like a small part of a video game where it's just kind of a relaxing like thing that happens. A lot of times video games don't claim copyright and stuff as much because it helps them sell stuff. So you might be able to get certain sounds from video game tracks and stuff, not necessarily the actual music, but from just like a noise within the game, like rain or a storm or something like that. And they will make channels off of these types of noises called like relaxing white noise as an example. Also almost two million. 2 million subscribers. They have black screen white noise. They have uh, thunder and lightning. They have, you know, all sorts of stuff to help you sleep or just to relax or to work. Those types of soothing and pretty relaxing noises that aren't necessarily music tracks. So you can go to like a stock audio website like SoundJ. You can start by getting like nature sound effects here and then maybe doing a little bit with them and then uploading them as a channel that is built for helping people either work, relax, meditate, sleep, etc. So that's kind of the theme of that. Another pretty easy thing that you could do is a deals channel. Like a lot of people are always trying to save money. So you can go to say like Newegg for instance and find all sorts of deals going on on like computer accessories and stuff like that or computer components and you could create a channel based on you know what's on sale right now you could find a way to um, just categorize these better now you could either use some code to where you can uh, you know use something that does some web scraping and then you could have your own little like spreadsheet or something that it automatically tells you when there's a deal and then you could make a quick video where you literally use a tool like Camtasia which I'm using right now to record this and just record your screen like I'm doing right now and then you could even make a blog with it you could check out sites that already compile a lot of different types of deals like slickdeals.net you could have just a spreadsheet with sources of like if you could find a new source a week or a new source a day of just a great place to find deals you could make a YouTube channel where you just record your screen using something like Camtasia and then show them where to find the best deals of the week or best deals of the day for whatever niche you're focusing on like I just use computer components as an example but you could do this for anything you could do all kinds of different types of deals and save people money you could probably find a lot of good affiliate offers here make money from ads and it's a pretty easy simple you know low-tech way of making money on YouTube another thing you could do that's fairly easy is just have a podcast now this is much simpler because you don't have to deal with visuals so if you have a podcast where you talk about maybe your favorite sports team or you have a podcast about lessons you've learned in a certain occupation or uh, you know, whatever you are passionate about or an expert at or whatever, maybe you're just really funny and you talk about crazy news and stuff. Uh, there's a lot of different podcasts out there. Find your favorite podcast, figure out what you would do differently to make it even better, and then try to make that yourself. But you could post this on YouTube, and it's a great way to make more money on YouTube because you don't even have to do visuals. It's one of the simplest ways of making money on YouTube. For instance, Tim Ferriss, I usually use him as an example for this type of channel because there aren't really that many I've seen out there that do this. But he'll have an interview with somebody, which of course, that may not be the best podcast if you're lazy. Doing interviews can be a lot of work, uh, just setting up times and being good at keeping a conversation going. But if you had another type of like solo podcast or a podcast where you just mostly you know have a chat with fans and stuff, you could do this and then have a static image of like the podcast art 
for your podcast and then the title of it maybe and then what the episode number is. So people would just click on it and listen to it in the background. Even though YouTube is a video platform, you can use it just as an audio platform. And then you can get something like the Scarlet Studio um, bundle which is what I use right now for audio. So if you feel like my audio is decent, you can get something that's very similar to like the Scarlet Studio audio setup. And then you can have the microphone, you have the audio interface, headphones, all that stuff usually comes with it. Very highly rated as well. And you can literally just put a podcast on YouTube and it's a much easier way than, you know, having to actually figure out all these different visuals. Another pretty easy thing you could do now is sports broadcasting. This is just something I started talking about probably like this year mostly, but there is a a little bit of a opening there, I think, on YouTube and in other areas as well where you can live stream while talking about a fight or a sports, you know, game that's going on or any kind of match that's going on live. So you can try other platforms. There is another platform that you might even check out called Hot Mike, and I believe that's hotmike.io, but and it's built for that. But basically, you can do this on YouTube Live as well, just fine. Just look at the Joe Rogan experience, for instance, where he will have his friends. They will not show any visuals from the actual event, but they do usually MMA shows. So if Joe Rogan is not actually there commentating on a fight, he will a lot of times just live stream on YouTube with his friends and they will break down fights and talk about it from fan perspectives, from ex-fighter perspectives, and then just kind of make a show like that. And they have two or three million views on each one of these, and it's just a live thing. So what you do is just turn on your TV, have this on on your phone or something, and then just listen to them instead of the commentary from the TV while you watch. It just gives people alternatives to the two or three broadcasters that are assigned to a game or a event. So it's a pretty easy thing to do. Obviously, you need to know what you're talking about. It's great to be informative and maybe add some some comedy to it would be great as well but you can also chat with fans as you're going and it's just it can be a much better experience than regular live broadcasting if done properly and then you also have compilation channels this can be easy or this can be very difficult so the easy way of doing this the the kind of lazy way of doing this you can find different types of clips on say twitch or you can find clips from your own video game play, you can get clips from Reddit, you can get clips from Twitter, and you can make these compilations of whatever the theme is, whatever the industry is you're focusing on on your channel. So for instance, Red Arcade focuses on gaming. You can go to submit your clips now. I also recommend anytime you do this, have it where people can submit their clips and have something that you can just kind of copy and paste from uh, one of these sites. I would recommend just going through the process on Red Arcade or uh, say, People are awesome. They also have a submission page, as you can see here, where they have compilations of people doing, doing crazy stuff, usually with like a GoPro camera or something. So they'll be snowboarding or, you know, hiking or doing stuff in sports or whatever. Red Arcade focuses on gaming, but they'll have some sort of, you know, terms of use type thing where you're giving them permission and that, you know, they have the right to use this clip in YouTube videos. So you'll want to have something like that. You can probably copy and paste something very similar from one of these sites. And then um, you can also just find all sources of stuff online from social media, Reddit, from Twitch, from wherever it is you're trying to get clips from. And basically just create these compilations that people might like. Now you want to try to do something that's not super competitive, like gaming's going to be very competitive. People Are Awesome is pretty much... Uh, you know, going to have this on lockdown as far as, you know, just cool stunts that people do. So you might focus on maybe like cool dog clips or cats or whatever, or you could do just about anything. Maybe you focus on a specific sport like basketball compilations or something, but you can do this fairly easily. You just have a decent editor. Like I mentioned Camtasia, great editor and screen recorder all in one. That's what I use for editing as well. And so you can do all this stuff and it's not too hard to do. 
And other than that, hopefully this was helpful. These are a few different YouTube channel ideas that you can do if you're fairly lazy and you don't want to have anything too complicated. You don't want to have to work long hours on editing necessarily. And so you can just kind of try these different ways out, put your own spin on them. Hopefully it will go well for you and I'll see you in the next video.